one of the things I've been just like deeply disappointed in with 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 many environmentalists is their 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 lack of of memory. In language that's being used in different organizational workspaces or in like DEI type of movement areas, um, this idea of urgency as a like tool of white supremacy. I'm wondering if you could give a perspective to urgency as how it's been used in policy and action from the state in regards to um, like the indigenous experience here. But the the thing about it is, I mean, I I have to hear, I mean, all the time, every day, testimonies. I read reports and analyses of indigenous people all over the world saying that when these privileged parties engage in wind power or solar power or other renewable energies, including hydropower, which is resurfaced as a solution to climate change, those technologies are having the same types of negative impacts that their, their predecessors had. And it's as if nothing's changed. So that for a lot of indigenous people, uh, the so-called solutions to climate change lead to displacement, lead to economic exploitation, land grabs. And so when I looked at a situation, I said, wow, people really don't remember the fact that every period of colonialism was premised, at least in part, in whole or in part, on the colonizers believing that there was a crisis, or maybe there was a crisis, but believing that they're taking advantage of other people as a solution to the crisis was morally acceptable to do. 